I made a red dress and a Katerina foam outfit and I'm going to show them to you. Hey guys, today I want to show you two wearable pieces that I've created. The first one is the red dress. I didn't sew this dress from scratch. I actually bought it in a thrift store in New York and then modified it to suit my needs. Originally, I would wear it on stage with my old band and back then, the skirt was a little less voluptuous. But it was a great dress to wear on stage even then because of the bright color and the drama of it and the way it would catch the light. This dress even made it into one of my paintings called The Red Dress. But last year, in the lead up to my solo performance at Theater Guillotine in Stockholm, I wanted to create some fun promo videos to advertise the show. I went through my old live show closet for inspiration and I came upon this dress. I still loved it, but I thought it could be modified to become even more dramatic. I envisioned something along the lines of a crinoline, which is a stiffened undergarment worn underneath a long skirt to make it stand out. Crinolines were very much in fashion throughout different phases of the 1800s. My crinoline didn't have to be all that fancy, so I created a metal hoop out of thick metal wire that I bent into shape and then stitched into the lining of the dress. It created this voluminous effect that made the dress more fun to dance and move around in, which was perfect for the promo videos that I was creating. The other piece I'd like to show you today is the Katerina foam outfit. I created this piece for the music video for my song Senga. The piece is made out of upholstery foam, the kind that you would buy and then cut to size to put inside seat cushions. I added a decorative fringe around the neckline. There are two women on this outfit, one on the front and one on the back, and the outfit is interchangeable, so the front can be the back or the back can be the front. Now, who are these women on the outfit? They're both powerful women who also happen to be my namesakes. Yay for all the Katarinas out there. On one side of the outfit is a large depiction of Katarina Jagiellonica. She was a Polish princess who married the Swedish king Johan den III, or John III, which made her the Queen of Sweden from 1569 to 1583. She's been described as someone who was very politically active, and it's said that she greatly influenced her husband, the king, during her years on the throne, especially in matters concerning politics and religion. On the other side of the outfit, we have Saint Caterina de Siena. Italian saint Caterina of Siena lived from 1347 to 1380. She only became 33 years old. She was a philosopher, writer, and theologian who greatly influenced the Catholic Church. She carried out many missions entrusted by the Pope during her lifetime, which was incredibly rare for a woman to do in the Middle Ages. Still today, she remains a greatly respected figure for her spiritual writings and her political boldness to speak truth to power. I put Put these two powerful Katarinas on the outfit to call upon their strength and boldness to pay homage to them and also to draw from that strength myself as a contemporary Katarina. The design of the outfit itself is reminiscent of an old school wearable advertising board or sandwich board as they're also called with a panel on the front and a panel on the back. I matched the outfit with a staff or a scepter because it felt fitting. This staff is an old curtain rod but I think it looks pretty cool. If you'd like to see the music video for Senga in its entirety, I'll link to that in the description below. And that's some I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.